Okay, welcome back. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. We are looking at hello. Uh, we are on the four hour time frame. So what this actually looks like right here, uh, I know this relatively new token and um, well, I uh, kind of went sideways for a good portion over here and then we've been moving up. So what this actually looks like, at least for me, is consider the following. Um, so starting from this point specifically right here and we consolidated so this looks like this is all reaccumulation even with this rise up and then coming back down right here so what uh, i am more so looking for and you know what before i do continue if you guys are new and or enjoy the content be sure to leave a like comment sub all that fun stuff really helps the channel grow and i really do appreciate it and it helps with the youtube algorithm so it's kind of like giving me a fist bump and it lets me know that you guys want to see more of this so other than that thank you in advance and let's get right back into it so anyway um so for reaccumulation this actually would even be including right up here and this drop down so if this is in fact reaccumulation uh what i would imagine right here is that you do actually end up coming back down uh you could make a higher low right here which I'll draw an area for that just to show you guys uh, If you do end up making a higher low However, I do think that there's a chance that you could end up breaking this low slightly and well I mean you guys can kind of see what I already drawn out. So you have like a Falling wedge type of uh, move end up playing out right here And then you end up moving back on up but it should you uh, why is the computer lagging my apologies I hate when it's like this and you guys can also see like the fit levels up uh so should you end up making like a higher low for this i swear if it friggin does it again i would be looking for actually should you make a higher low from the low that we have right now i guess i should say um but anyway the box is at High end is at five cents forty five. Then low end is at about four cents nine seven nine. Then should you end up breaking this low, where I think you ultimately see your like reversal point probably would be around um I think it would generally be within here. I would draw two, but uh, eh, I don't think you'd necessarily. So we're going to go right here and then we'll put this up. So I think it, this would be if you end up breaking this low, this is going to be your ultimate reversal point. So you can see your point of control, which is that red line right there. That is at about uh, four cents to a three, which is the low end of the box, really slightly lower than the high end box is at four cents uh three five seven so ultimately right now i am anticipating a bit more downside but uh if we were to look at this as a normal zigzag and not think that this is a like falling wedge right here then you actually would be going much lower over in, into like uh these areas but uh i don't think you'll actually end up breaking this point of control or even if you would uh i don't think you would break it by very much at all i think if you were to break it you probably would actually get stopped around four cents uh 14. so i i don't actually think you would really break there but or at least break there with the closure but um yeah so that's really about it uh i am more so anticipating that you do end up coming down consolidate here uh for a bit to like these areas and then you end up uh going back up for another move back towards the upside another marking up uh, so basically a new high, but other than that, none of this is financial advice. Of course, these are all just my thoughts and opinions, and you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.